ever looked up at the sky and wondered, what's up there? There's so many things we can do today. We can learn and we could play a project or a DIY. Whatever it is, let's give it a try. Hi there, it's Miss Mickey and I love space. It's so interesting. There's so many things I can talk about. So let's talk about space, Mari. All right, the sun, that big bright thing in the sky is a star and is the center of our solar system. We orbit or go around the sun. And we all know about the moon, right? That other big thing in the sky, the one that comes out when it's dark? Well, the moon is our only satellite, a thing that orbits us. Now that we have our basics, get ready for a lot of information. Hello and good day. This is Disaster with MB News. Today's story, Phases of the Moon. There are eight phases of the moon. First up is New Moon. That is when you are unable to see the moon. Up next, Waxing Crescent, also known as the Toenail Moon, to the right. Next is first quarter. That is when half of the moon is shown. Waxing gibbous is the next phase. Waxing means it is getting bigger. A full moon is when we see the whole moon. Werewolves love this moon. Waning gibbous. Waning means it is getting smaller. Then is third quarter, which is also half a moon, but the other way. Then waning crescent, the opposite toenail, to the left. It takes 27 days for the moon to orbit the earth and 29 days to cycle the moons. We are indeed getting word that there is something strange orbiting the studio. There are eight planets that orbit the sun. There is Mercury, which is the closest to the sun, but isn't the hottest. It is the smallest planet and has no moons. Mercury is actually only a little bit bigger than our moon. One day on Mercury is 176 Earth days, but a year is only 88 days. How is a day longer than a year? A day is how long it takes to rotate or spin completely, and a year is how long it takes to orbit the sun. Oh. Next we have Venus. It is called our sister planet because of its similar size, but it spins the opposite way. It's actually the hottest planet because of its thick atmosphere, which is a layer of gas that is around the planet. And I don't mean the tubes you get after you eat beans. Venus also doesn't have any moons. One day on Venus is 243 days and one year is 225. Now a day is almost as long as a year? Yep, then we have Earth. We are the third planet. It's home to plants and animals and us. We of course just have the one moon. One day is 24 hours and a year is 365 or 366 if it's a leap year. We are the only known planet with life so we must take care of our planet because it is the only home we have. Yay Earth! Next we have Mars. It's known as the red planet. It has two moons. One day is about 24 hours, but a year is 687 days. We have sent many robots called rovers to explore Mars. One well-known one is named Curiosity and it's still there. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. I checked out a book on anti-gravity. I can't put it down. How do you know when the moon has had enough to eat? When it's full. Boo! I thought I nailed that. Now in between Mars and the next planet is an asteroid belt. Asteroids are rock-like objects that orbit the sun. Asteroids can turn into meteors when they hit our atmosphere, but by the time they get to us, they're super small. We may call the meteors we see shooting stars. There's actually a few meteor showers during the year, so mark your calendars. And then there are things called comets. Comets are made of ice and dust and have a tail trailing behind them. A popular comet is known as Halley's Comet, which we can see once every 75 to 78 years. The next one would be July 2061. <laughs>
Next we have Jupiter, the biggest planet. It is known for a few things like its swirling atmosphere and 300 year old red spot storm. One year is 12 Earth years, but a day is only 10 hours. It is known as a gas giant due to being made of gas and being huge. And it has about 80 moons. Wow, that's a lot of moons. Now Saturn is known as a ring planet and is also a gas giant. It tilts a bit to its side. A year is 30 Earth years, but a day is only 10 hours. It has 82 moons. And that's a lot of years. Uranus also has rings, but they are very faint. It is known as an ice giant. It rotates on its side. A year is 84 Earth years and a day is only 17 hours. It has 27 moons. The years just keep on growing. Neptune also has rings and is also known as an ice giant, but is the smallest and the coldest and the windiest of all the giants. It has 14 moons, a day is 16 hours, and a year is 165 Earth years. And then there's Pluto, which isn't a planet anymore. Yes, it's a dwarf planet, so it's a bit too small to be a planet. I was a kid when that was decided. Here's a quick little thing that you can do. I want you to grab some beads. I do have star beads, but you can use whatever beads you want and a pipe cleaner. You're gonna stick those seven beads through the pipe cleaner like this. Once you're done, you can wear it as a bracelet, but that's not what we're gonna do. You're gonna pull the beads um, about this apart and then bend at the angle like this. You'll put another star here and another star here and then bend it again. And then you'll go ahead and push those beads to the end and bend it again. And what a surprise, we are gonna bend it again and pull those stars down or beads down. But if you can't quite close it yet, go ahead and readjust and keep trying until you're able to close it. And then just push the pipe cleaner around until it is stable. And now you have a big dipper. And there's so much more that we don't know about. So you see why I love space? See you next time.